Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is March 15th, and right now we're looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. There's California, Hawaiian Islands bottom left. This is our next storm system up. It's going to pack a punch for some areas of California. We'll take a look at all that in some detail here as we go through the video this morning. Lightning strikes last 24 hours did have a few across the state of California, down to the San Joaquin Valley, Nevada, and portions of Arizona as well. Taking a look at things right now, chilly temperatures out there. You can see the winter storm warnings also across some of the Sierra Nevada, the Cascades, and up towards Siskiyou's here as well. High wind warnings are in effect. And yeah, that very chilly air mass is apparent. Look at Fresno, only 43, LAX 47 degrees. Desert area is nice and chilly. I mean, look at a lot of Arizona. You're talking about, what is that? Phoenix right there, 49 degrees. Bring a heavy coat if you're out and about, no doubt. And mm -hmm. taking a look at the apparent temperature with wind chill included, look at some of these into the 30s for the San Joaquin Valley. I mean, you're talking about lower 40s for the Los Angeles Basin, even chilly down towards San Diego. But look at across the higher terrain, some of those wind chills, you know, down below zero if you get high enough across the terrain out there across the Sierra Nevada. And if you want a nice affordable home weather station, click on that link down below to save 10% off. It's got a lightning detection system, stores all all this data for you in the cloud builds its own forecast nice and easy to wake up in the morning and take a look to see what it's doing outside and what it's supposed to do so yeah highly recommended Strong winds Saturday and Sunday. Atmospheric river into southwest Oregon and northern California. Some big rainfall amounts. Some wind gusts to 70 miles per hour. This is from a tonight all the way on in through the day Sunday. And watch out for those down trees, power outages. You guys know the drill. But yeah, strong winds out there. I mean, look at Crescent City forecast at 64 miles per hour. Pretty impressive. Now, this is Sacramento National Weather Service. We'll zoom in on that one Sunday night through Monday. Look at these snow levels, five to 6,000 feet, lowering 3,500, 4,500 as we go through the day on Monday. You see the red there means major impacts. Not a good day to travel Sunday afternoon through about on the day Monday. Heavy snow. Uh, again, snow levels above 4,000 feet, two feet along the peaks, strong winds, you know, 60, 70, 75 miles per hour. Northern Sierra, Southern Cascades, 5,000 foot snow levels, three feet along the peaks there. So yeah, chain controls, you know, check before you go. You might want to avoid travel as you're going in through the day. Um, all the way on in through the day on Monday, really, before things start to wrap up. You can see a lot of these uh, go all the way on in through the day Monday. Now, high wind warning, I did want to point this out for northeast California, portions of Nevada, gust to 65, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sunday. But look at this across some of the ridge tops as well. One to two feet of snow, and you can see 100 miles per hour. So, yeah, watch out if you're out and about across the backcountry. Winter is not through with the state of California as of yet. Now, look at some of these wind speeds here. So let's scroll through, and you'll see the next system approaching. That is our atmospheric river into south. Southern, Cal uh, Southern Oregon and Northwest California. The winds pick up as you go through the day tomorrow across the Sierra Nevada. Look at these winds just ripping across the region. Frontal system starts to move down towards the Bay Area as we go through tomorrow night. The winds really start to kick up as we go through Monday and uh, probably early afternoon there. Sierra, uh, Southern Sierra Nevada, transverse rains, Peninsular Range, deserts, Las Vegas, very gusty conditions coming up here as we go on and through the day Monday. And that's when the model run ends up Monday afternoon. But you see the those very strong winds. Now, looking at our next system, there it goes. 500 millibar shows that system clearly moving through here as we go through the day Monday. Some models not showing a lot of precipitation here for Southern California. I'll show you that here in a moment if you stick with me for a bit. But there's another system that swings through next week. And then the Pacific Northwest continues to get hit. But then we show some ridging going on in through the extended forecast. But that is a ways out there. That's over a week out. We'll just continue to watch it. You can see the ridge axis there and the trough out over the ocean. So day one marginal outlook. It does include portions of Northern California. If you got friends out across some of Tennessee and some of the Southeast there, watch out severe weather is in play today moderate risk for flash flooding and i was kind of surprised not to see a slight for some portions of maybe southwest oregon northwest california out of this but the marginal risk is there this is for sunday morning through monday morning <clears throat> Now, if we take a look here at the European last night's run, so there goes the next weather maker here as we go on in through 
tonight and on through tomorrow morning, you can see that plume of moisture ripping across the region there. The snow starts to push down as we go through tomorrow night on and through the day. Sunday is when the biggest snows will be falling Monday morning across the Sierra Nevada. And you see this frontal system lose a bit of its punch as it gets down towards the Los Angeles metro as I toggle back and forth. Some of the higher terrain picking up some uh, rainfall as, the, as well, but not a big precipitation maker. We're not looking at debris flows or anything like that for Southern California out of this round. And then another system will swing through next week. We'll continue to watch that to see how strong that is going to be when it comes in. You can see that's over 100 hours out from where we are right now. And this is that atmospheric river, you know, AR2, AR3, moderate. So yeah, it's going to bring some pretty good precipitation amounts there. And again, atmospheric river is just based on duration. You can see 24 hours, 48, 72, and the maximum integrated vapor transport of that plume of moisture. Now, lightning flash density potential, I do want to point out the risk as we go through the day Monday. You can see the thunderstorm potential there for some of the Sacramento Valley, the Bay Area, into some portions of the San Joaquin Valley as well. Monday night shown there and that looks like our main thunderstorm threat will be on the day afternoon Monday. So total precipitation in the inches. Let's scroll through here and you see that it just piles up there really quickly across southwest Oregon, northwest California. And not, again, not a lot of precipitation showing up in the models for Southern California. If we scroll up the next system as well, it looks like that's going to stay north across Northern California, southwest Oregon. Also, as we scroll up over 10 days out into the forecast. <clears throat> and if we take a look here at the European, the deterministic run, we'll take a look to see if it shows anything more for Southern California and not too much. Pretty good agreement there. Some for the higher terrain, but the biggest amounts, of course, across the Sierra Nevada, a lot of that falling is snow and mainly north of the Bay Area up through Southwest Oregon. Total snow contrary ratio, as I, I think I mentioned, that the big dump comes on Monday for a lot of the Sierra Nevada. This is as we're going through Sunday night. You're getting that across, across the Klamath, Cascades, and then down through the Sierra Nevada as we go through Monday, and that wraps up. And then another system will swing through next week for a little bump of snow uh, uh, there as well. So taking a look at maximum individual wave height, um, you can see we do have some elevated wave action there. And here goes our system as we go through Sunday into Monday morning, bringing waves really up and down the coastline there. Tiny bit of a break there as we go midweek, but then additional rounds of waves coming. And then you can see as we go off into the extended forecast, we keep some of those elevated waves around. But you can see the storm systems a little bit far away as we go off towards the end of next week. We'll see how that goes. Um, surf forecast, high <coughs> rip current risk. Los Angeles, this is for the day today, west facing beaches. You can see that water temperatures, nice chilly 51 to 58 degrees and 12 to 16 footers there, west facing beaches for the Bay Area. Good stuff here from the National Weather Service. Chilly water temperatures, you can see it gets colder the further you go north from San Diego there in Bay Area, Northwest California dropping off quite rapidly. Six to 10 day, um, kind of a mixed bag there across California, as you can see. There's the six to 10 day temperature getting back towards near normal as we go off towards the end of the month of March. And check this out. So this is the 30 day running average of the 500 millibar heights as we go off into the extended forecast through the end of April. And if I'm scrolling through here again, these are 30 day chunks that we're going by. So you can see this very persistent troughing in the forecast off the coast of North America. Some of these are gonna be including California at times and some of these could definitely be coming in a bit deeper and a bit further south. So yeah, we may remain active here on the west coast of North America as we go through the month of all the way through the month of April. So anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Otherwise, we will do this all again tomorrow. Check out that storm system, break it all down, and I will talk to you guys later.